oh yeah, metallic blue and black Sony PSP 3000, 32 gigs of Sonic Heaven. This is a tribute to Sonic the Hedgehog. Take a look at the custom graphics on the back with a clear coat bonding the graphics to the PSP. Um, there, there, there's so much to show you on this thing. Uh, first, I want you to get a good look um, at the quality here as I get my fingerprints all over the screen while I'm doing this. Um, speaking of the screen, the screen is in great condition other than that fingerprint I just put on it. <laughs> um, no scratches. Um, it is a 3000, so it has a very bright screen. Um, the UMD drive has been deactivated um, because you really don't need it. Um, with 32 gigs of space, custom firmware, and my custom menus, and, and, and my custom software on here, um, it's just endless hours of gameplay. And without using the UMD drive, your battery lasts forever playing everything off that modified memory stick. So, um, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, you get some some other stuff with it. Let's see here. You get uh, charger. You know you're gonna need that in case you want to charge it. So you got a charger, all right. And you also got a nice uh, GameStop PSP case. Hold on. It's so hard to do this one-handed. I need to set it up on the tripod. Here we go. Cool PSP case, um, store your PSP and charger. And then also, it comes with a Velcro like hip strap. So if for some reason you wanna be that guy, um, feel free, but I can't guarantee how many friends you're gonna make, um, you know, swapping out your fanny pack for a PSP. I don't know. Have them take a look at it. They're going to say, hey, that's bitchin', that's awesome. Let's be best buds forever. Where'd you get that? I got it from Timothy Tim. Holy shit, I'll take ten of them. <laughs> hey, that really worked out better for me. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, 32 gigs of space. Let me show you everything that's on it. it it's, it's, it's bananas. All right, and here we go. Let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so starting out with custom PSP theme on here, Sonic the Hedgehog. And um, what I've gone ahead and loaded it up with are a bunch of games. Um, starting out with, we've got old school stuff, which I poured a lot of work into. And um, PS1 games. PSP minis, which were downloadable games, and PSP games, the honest to goodness PSP games on there. All right, now I'm going to start you out with old school because um, this is where I put most of my work into. Yeah. It's a game called Sonic Mega Mix, and you couldn't buy this in stores. Actually, yeah, I, I don't think you ever could. Um, this is a game that was developed by a team that just loves Sonic. It's like a fan-made game, and I think it's so good that um, I gave it its own menu. So play it, check it out, and then we come down to Sonic Hacks. Um, a lot of talented people, much more talented than me, have um, taken old Sonic the Hedgehog games, some of those games, and they've reworked them, patched them, and added some stuff that um, you've maybe never seen before, or never seen in that specific game. Um, let me launch it here. That's my custom game boot that I put on there. 
Sonic the Hedgehog throwing fire at your ass. Lighten you up. All right. Scroll over here to Sonic Hacks and check out some of the games. Um, I think these are the best hacks that were ever made outside of uh, Super Sonic the Sonic Super Brothers, which is a weird uh, Sonic Mario Brothers kind of mashup, which I just thought it was cool for the craziness I put it I put it on there. Um, and so I will just show you one of the games um, to give you an idea of how different um, some of this stuff is. Metal Sonic Hyperdrive. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Why is he always telling me no? I'm gonna play. You cheeky bastard. You're gonna play anyways, aren't you? I said no, no, no. All right. First off, I'm gonna apologize. Because I'm playing, I'm holding this in front of the camera. I'm not gonna do as good. Um, the game is super fast. Um, with some different moves. How awesome is that? Yeah. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff to cover because there's a lot of content on here. So um, let's go on to something else. Show you the rest of the Sonic stuff. All right, back to old school. Excuse me. I just love that menu. Sonic hacks. All right, Sonic Rivals. PSP game came out. Um, I wanted to group all the Sonic stuff together, so... Yeah, Sonic Rivals. Sonic Rivals 2. Alright. Now what comes next is um, some of the coolest stuff I think is on here. Um, just an entire console collection. Everything that I could come up with and, and get working on the PSP um, starting out with the uh, Sega Master System also something to note um, a lot of the audio and stuff in the background of some of these menus um, is uh, taken from the old commercials that advertised um, the video game systems which which I think adds a nostalgia that 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 just is irreplaceable I mean you just don't get that anymore right Master System Uh, one other thing to add, um, most of these game systems outside of Nintendo 64 and Sega CD have every single game ever made. So, enjoy the rebirth of Sonic. Go after the rings, man. Hula hoop those motherfuckers. Sega Genesis. That's when Sonic started to get nasty. And for some reason, Sega started yelling at us. Game Gear. If you were colorblind and had an IQ less than 12, <laughs> then you wouldn't care which portal you had. Of course, you wouldn't care if you drank from the toilet either. Yeah. I was totally envious of this when I was a kid. I had that shitty uh, black, and, black and green Game Boy. And then they had to come out with the color Game Gear. My parents weren't going to give me that. I got the Game Boy out of them. All right, Sega CD. Like I said before, not all the Sega CD games are on here because each Sega CD game is a 700 megabyte gut check. And uh, you don't need them all. Um, I put some of the Sega CD games on, on here that made the Sega CD uh, popular and famous, like... Um, Night Trap, 
just a horribly violent game. Or at least that's what they said back in the day. There was even court hearing and stuff, and they had to release a less violent version of fucking Night Trap. Can, can, can you imagine that? If we showed them Grand Theft Auto, their, their, their heads would explode and they'd shit their pants. Probably in that order. Yeah. Playing with power? I don't know about that, but you are playing every single NES, Nintendo, 8-bit game ever made. And another cool feature about this, you can pause, fast forward, and rewind gameplay. So you can essentially cheat your ass off. And um, playing Super Mario Brothers, you will jump over the flagpole. It'll just take a while. I did it once. Black and white, black and green, whatever you want to call it. Original, old school, OG, Game Boy. And um, the PSP screen's all nice and lit up, so you don't have to, you know, spend hours playing uh, Tetris in the bathroom because it's the best lighting in the house. No, Mom, I'm not touching myself. I'm just playing Tetris. Sorry, I got emotional there. Game Boy Color. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's totally humanly possible now, in in all different colors. Here we go, Super Nintendo. Now you're playing with super power. Um, it's really cool. Every Super Nintendo game. Actually, so many Super Nintendo games that I had to separate the games list up into two different folders because it took too long to populate the list and load it. Um, so, when you're playing uh, Super Nintendo games, look out for that second folder. It's, I think it's called More ROMs. Um, you definitely want to check that out. All right, Game Boy Advance and uh, Advance SP, respectively. Yes, yeah, the Game Boy SP. Have it now. That creepy voice. Um, so yeah, every Game Boy Advance, SP, Extended Play, XL. Alright. Nintendo 64. Aww. Before you get too excited, the, the uh, PSP has a hard time emulating um, Nintendo 64. So, um... Don't buy the PSP based on that. Um, it actually plays Mario 64 pretty damn well and um, does okay with some of the with the Zelda games. Um, it's more on here. You can play with it, uh, tweak some of the settings, disabling sound and stuff. Um, totally, you know, helps improve things. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Turbo Graphic 16. I had one of these. I asked for a Super Nintendo. This is what my dad got me. Uh, ungrateful little brat I was. But no, I actually ended up liking the Turbo Graphics um, a lot. Um, so if you never played the games, check them out. They're a lot of fun. And uh, you can be Bonk. Bonk. A, 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 a teenage kid that Whenever he gets angry, he headbutts shit. <laughs> I think in a, uh, a fight between uh, Bonk and Mario, I think Mario would be quiet, crying for his uh, Luigi. So uh, check out Turbo Graphics. It's got some cool games. I really like Blazing Lasers, by the way. Check that one out. Atari 2600. Going back to your roots. Hey, what can I say? Every Atari 2600 game. And then we go on to Atari 7800. This was Atari's answer to the 8-bit Nintendo and its popularity. This thing is a monster of a console. Or it was. Um, yeah, it's about the size of two VCRs or a laser disc player. You know what those are. Um, it was ginormous. Um, and it was expensive um, because of that. Not a lot of people 
got a chance to get familiar with the games. And, you know, if you like old school NES, um, Atari 7800 definitely has some, some good stuff to offer. So check out those games. And then Atari's answer to the Game Boy. Yeah, 16-bit action. Sadly, the Atari Lynx was a big, giant turd that Atari just kind of squeezed out. Every Atari, uh, Atari Lynx game is on here. Play some of them. Hey, they might be kind of shitty, but they're still challenging, so check that out. Mattel Electronics presents this awesome retro wood grain space age telephone looking piece of retro awesomeness. Every Intellivision game on here, and some of the Intellivision games even talk with the Intellivision voice synthesizer. Your parents help you hook it up. Or um, you can just do it on your own because you're probably an adult. And that would be weird. Okay, moving on to Bandai Wonderswan. Oh my god. Is this possibly one of the coolest undiscovered handhelds of the 80s and 90s that you've never heard of? No. No, it's not. Well, it's undiscovered and you never heard of it. But it is the Bandai Wonderswan. And there is every game. And it is kind of shitty, but the games are in color, and um, it's a bunch of games you've never heard of. So, you know, hey, I put it on here because I could. So there you go. ColecoVision. And this is another wood grain phone type console with uh, a little joystick knobby deal. Um, this was competitor of the Atari 2600 as well as the Intellivision. Um, I like the Intellivision better though. Yeah, that's right. Uh, forget Oculus Rift. You want game simulators? The Magnavox Odyssey. This was one of the first home game consoles that ever existed um if you've never played it before i recommend it get back to your roots get down to your gaming roots i mean look at the thing it came with a realistic looking gun a realistic looking gun not gonna happen nowadays with everybody being so politically correct you're not gonna get a you know a shotgun with uh, the wii u Ooh. This is a Vectrex. Um, vector graphics gaming system. I'll show you some gameplay on that uh, a little later after we review everything. The Vectrex is awesome. And I was really happy to get it working on here. Okay, Commodore 64. Yeah, you screwed That's Apple. Here comes the Commodore. The Commodore 64 could be the microcomputer industry's outstanding new product introduction since the birth of the industry. I love microcomputer technology and birthing and in industries. <laughs> every, not every Commodore 64 game, surprisingly, there was a shit ton. Yeah, back when they used to measure things in, in the amount of shit. <laughs> Um, it's a lot of games, and I put most of them on there. SNK's Neo Geo. This is true arcade emulation. Samurai Showdown. Um, just the, uh, Metal Slug. Um, this is real arcade emulation. You've got to push the select button to insert coins, and it's really 
cool. Neo Geo Pocket. It's a gaming system that the, that SNK came out with, and there's every Neo Geo game on there, and a lot of them are are really fun. And um, Samurai Showdown games hard, so give that a shot. Capcom. All right, Capcom arcade hits. CPS2 um, is known as is another arcade. Um, emulation that is basically all of Capcom's um, greatest hits um, so Street Fighter uh, Capcom vs. SNK Capcom versus SNK so give that a shot it works just like um, the other ones do where you gotta push select to insert coins and then hold up talk about getting back to your roots True MAME Arcade Emulation. MAME stands for Multiple Arcade Machine Emulation. And this emulates all the old school stuff. True emulation of Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, Galaga. And um, you can even get into some of those arcade game settings. And uh, it's like you got the keys to the arcade cabinets that you didn't have when, you were, when I was a kid. And um, so you got that. And then, something cool. Midway Arcade emulation. Now this is set up a little differently through, through the um, Arcade Treasures shell. Um, modified it a little bit and added some games. And specifically, what's fun to play on here is uh, Mortal Kombat. 1, 2, and 3 are on there. And I think it's the best arcade emulation of Mortal Kombat that I've ever seen. So that is all the old school gaming stuff. And let me take you quickly through um, the other folders. All right. PS1 games. Pac Man. Miss Pac Man. Good. Play. Miss Pac Man. It's fun. Jackie Chan. Stuntmaster. For some reason, I got obsessed with tracking this game down and getting it to work, and I think it's pretty fun, so check it out. Rated Rumble, awesome boxing game, and for some reason, I suck ass at it now. It used to be pretty good, so um, I'm going to need some training. Marvel vs. Street Fighter, um, a lot of fun, great PS1 title, played it a lot. Metal Gear. It's a fun game. I remember playing this one on PS1 for hours. Parappa the Rapper. I still love this game. Um, I can't get past the driver's ed part, but um, I will one of these days. Capcom versus SNK. Um, this is the PlayStation 1 version of the game, and um, I'm a really big fan of Street Fighter and Capcom, so I put this on here. Um, it's a different game experience, and um, I, I really enjoyed it, so that's why you're getting it on PS1 as well. Mr. Digger. Awesome little little fun game. Uh, you know, th this is like they came out with a game for PS PlayStation 1 that you'd probably play on your cell phone nowadays. So it's great for being a portable game. Tekken 3. Need I say any more? Tekken 3. Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. An awesome Castlevania game that came out for the PlayStation 1. If you've never played it before... You're in for a treat um, because it's definitely worth um, trying to get to the end and spending hours on that game because it's a lot of fun. All right, now PSP Minis. There's a lot of them on here, and these are some of the PSP Minis that I thought were the best. And um, I'm just going to briefly scroll you through. The Tetris game's really fun. And um, like I said, there's a lot of them. Um, some of them are just crazy weird like this ramen noodles one well, <laughs> check it out it's weird and I still can't figure out how to play it you know maybe you can Horde. 
All right, so there you go with PSP Mini. It's just some on there, fun. You can add some more in the future if you know how to do that or you want to. And here comes the cool, cool PSP games. And I'm just going to take you through the list here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Rerunning is a great, like, fun, like, parkour game. This is like a Command and Conquer game. Need for Speed Underground Racers. This is an awesome game. I love it. Exit. This is Ghostbusters. This menu I did uh, custom for a um, Ghostbusters PSP. And um, it's that Ghostbusters PSP game. And it's a lot of fun. So definitely check it out. God of War. Ghosts of Sparta. What can I say? God of War, one of the most popular and best games that was put out for the uh, PSP. Every extended extra. Hard to explain. Puzzle game. Um, addictive and fun. It's akin to Tetris, but the you know the gameplay isn't isn't like that at all. Undead Knights. Play the game all all the way through. Still go back and play it. Call of Duty. Roads to Victory. Star Wars Battlefront PSP fun kind of first person game Metal Slug Anthology is all the Metal Slug games uh, and here's the PSP Castlevania game that came out um, this one's a lot of fun too I suggest you play Symphony of the Night on PS1 first before you jump into this one um, this one's even better um, obviously, that's up to you. Tony Hawk's Project 8. Tony Hawk. Fun game. Ridge Racer. There's so many games on here. Rainbow Six Vegas. Yeah. Rainbow Six Vegas. Gamble with your life. If, instead of with, with your money. In, as you join all the rainbows, all six of them, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Burnout. Have you ever played Burnout? You should play it. It's a fun-ass game. One of my, it's my favorite racing game. Running people off the road and nitrous and, and it's just a lot of fun. Mega Man. Maverick Hunter X. Um, it's a forgotten game. And if you like Mega Man, and I do, um, Check it out. Um, it's an updated version. Um, actually based off the cartoon. Yes, there was a Mega Man cartoon. Um, so check it out. Street Fighter Alpha Max 3. This is not in the Capcom arcade emulation because this is a game that was released solely for the PSP. I think it's the best Street Fighter game ever put out. Um, you can go you go on a story mode and save your stats and and it's a lot of fun. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Yeah, not Spider-Man 1, but Spider-Man 2. They didn't come out with the Spider-Man 1 for the PSP, I don't think. Um, so here's uh, Spider-Man 2. Fun game, you know. It's got that roam all around the town and you know, get your spidey senses all tingling and uh, do whatever you want, Peter. Go ahead. 
Have fun with that Mary Jane if you like. All right. So I am going to now show you some uh, gameplay with, uh, I don't know, i got to decide what I'm going to show you. I want to show you some Vectrex. Oh, uh, Game Boy as well. Actually, I'm going to show you 8-Bit um, Nintendo because I love the uh, Rewind the Game feature. All right, 8-Bit Nintendo. Um, that logo is my little hacker guy, and you'll see him kind of hiding around in a lot of the menus and stuff just to remind you who's your daddy. Turn it up a little bit here. All right. Now you're playing Mario. You're loving it. And let's say you make a rookie mistake. Mario suicide. It's all right. You can rewind the game. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Like it never happened. Pretty cool, right? Check this out. <laughs> and you can also fast forward the game or rewind it because I just got hurt. Isn't that cool? It's kind of, it's cheating. It's totally cheating. I'm going to show you what I mean about fast forwarding. Right. Okay. Oh my god, I don't want to wait through all of this. We don't have to. Fast forward. Imagine playing the game that way. Oh my god. You run out the time. Holy shit. Okay. So there you go. That's uh, a bit Nintendo. All right, now I'm going to show you a Sega Master System. Sonic throwing fire at your ass. Because he can. All right. Sega Master System. Here's all the Sonic games. Sonic Spinball, Sonic Chess, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Hedgehog 2. Um, yep. First. Sonic game. <laughs> That's right, you can't do a, you can't speed up. Now all these games, um, all the little game emulators, you can save your uh, your place. However, with Sega Master System, you cannot um, like rewind your gameplay. Um, so you know, before you make that difficult jump, you know you might want to save it. So um, here we go. I just wanted to show you a Sega Master System, especially on the PSP 3000. The screen's so much brighter. I love it. All right, and the next thing I want to show you is uh, Vectrex, and then um, I don't be about it.
All right, here's all the uh, Vectrex games. And check this shit out. You have to hold the controller this way in portrait mode um, because that's more accurate to the uh, shape of the Vectrex monitor that it came with. So we're doing gas with the buttons up here and we're steering with the analog down there. Oh yeah, getting up to speed now, woohoo! Oh crap, Vectrex games are fun, um, every Vectrex game is on here, um, some multiple versions of the same game. They didn't come out with a whole lot of them. I think maybe like, oh, maybe with like, uh, you know, like maybe 40 games. Um, also, some people have gone to the trouble of creating their own Vectrex music, and those are on there too. So, if you want to rock out with your nerd out, um, you can sit there and strap on some headphones and, uh, Listen to Vectrex music. Hey, what are you listening to, man? What are you listening to? Um, I'm listening to the pole position jam. Um, okay. Um, and, and if you get tired of playing the game, you know, this way, you can switch it over to regular mode. Everything's kind of stretched out, but um, I think if you're not going to play it this way uh, or that way, why, why play it at all? All right. So that's pretty much it. Please message me if you have any questions. Um, so much content on here. Um, it would be impossible for me to cover it all in one video. Um, good luck on the bidding. And um, let me think, is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so. And, and if I do think of something else, it'll be in the auction. So um, thanks for checking out the video. Um, I hope you like it as much as I do, this PSP that I put a lot of time and effort into. Um, PSP 3000, it's, uh, it's the first one, PSP 3000, and um, yeah, I just think it's awesome. So once again, thanks for checking it out, and happy building. This is uh, Timothy Tim, and I will see you next time. Game on.